morning it has been so long since my last vlog or like the last time i've actually vlogged regularly but honestly january and december were crazy months for me like it was so chaotic and i'm finally at the point where i feel like i can get back into my routine and start vlogging regularly i got back from vacation and have just been trying to like slowly get my life together but i still feel pretty disorganized so we're gonna have a little reset day today i really want to deep clean my room a bit if you can tell in the background i have like stuff everywhere that just needs to go and be organized and i also want to do my nails because i'm just trying to give them a break but i'm ready for some gel x nails and i have a little bit of errands to run later and i also want to go to the gym so it's kind of like a lot to do today i don't know if we're gonna do all that today but i'm just in need of like a reset day but today is january 31st it is 10 30 i woke up early i woke up at like 8 and i kind of had a slow morning i made breakfast had some coffee was on my phone a little bit and now i'm ready to actually like get started with like being productive and stuff so i'm trying to decide whether i want to go to the gym first or clean my room first lately i have not been wanting to go to the gym i haven't gone in like four days i've literally been holed up in my room like for days like i have not really left my room or my house at all so i feel like today we should really like get up get out get some vitamin d and not be a hermit so much has been going on ever since i moved back home like i had a bit of a crisis let's just say but we're not gonna get into that now but honestly i think i want to start off my day with working out because even though i don't feel like going right now i know i'll like feel better afterwards so i'm gonna get dressed maybe do a little bit of my makeup because you know look good feel good i feel like whenever i put a little effort into how i look i end up having like a better workout so I think that's what I'm gonna do first. I just got ready for the gym. This is my outfit. I feel like I always end up wearing these same leggings whenever I vlog, but I'm wearing these defined leggings, this able sports bra, and this little cropped jacket thingy. I decided that I want to do cardio today. I haven't had like a designated cardio day. I'm gonna do cardio and abs. This year I really wanna focus on like toning my stomach and I've been slacking on my ab workouts. So I've been trying to like get more into ab workouts and at home Pilates to get that toned look. But yeah, that's a gym fit. If you could tell, my room is messy, so we got some work ahead of us later. So yeah, we're gonna go to the gym. Hopefully, I end up sweating a lot because I have not been drinking enough water either. my workout we got it out the way today i went to a further gym because it's around all the stores and like shopping stuff and i want to get some errands done aka i want to go to target valentine's day is right around the corner it's in like two weeks and i like i'm stressing out like i want to get stuff for andrew ready so i feel like i should get that done today i also brought some stuff in my trunk to sell at plato's closet which i've never done before like i have all these good clothes and shoes that i would normally just donate but i want to see if i could like sell it at plato's closet first and if not i'll just donate it but i'm like scared to go there by myself because i've never been there and then i always see like tiktok story times when people like try selling stuff and the people are always like so mean to them or make them wait a really long time just to like not buy any of their stuff so i don't know if i want to do that today but for sure i'm gonna go head over to target right now oh and today's workout was really good i just did 30 minutes on the treadmill um usually i would go longer but i kind of just like feel like i have a lot of stuff to do today and then i also did an ab workout i just did one of chloe ting's videos some people don't like her stuff but i have always gotten good results from her videos so i just did a quick 10 minute ab workout after the treadmill Target by myself. 
myself. I overthink so much, like I've been here for so long. This is all the stuff I have so far. I'm trying to pick out a basket, make him like a little Valentine's Day basket, but it takes me so long to make a decision. Guys, I took so long in Target. This always happens when I go shopping by myself. Like it's literally 2.30 right now. Anyways, um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I got just Valentine's Day stuff for my family and for Andrew. I got a bunch of cards. This is like so disorganized, but the only things that I got for myself was the Lumi Glow Lotion or Glotion from L'Oreal. I've been wanting to try this for so long. It looks a little light, but hopefully it's my shade because I didn't want to get something like super dark and then like make me look really dark in the face and then like pale on my body. So I tried finding one that like matched. So hopefully it matches. And then I got some aqua because I recently ran out. And then I got this basket that I'm gonna put all of Andrew's Valentine stuff in there. I got him a bunch of chocolate. I got him the Nerds Clusters. I bent the packaging. I must've been going crazy when I was like trying to bag all my stuff because what is going on? And then I got him some Lindor Truffles. This is the raspberry cheesecake and then some Ghirardelli chocolate, this is so awkward. I hate when I film and I make eye contact with someone, it's so awkward. Then I got him some Burt's Bees Valentine's chapstick. Then his hands have been super dry from work, so I got him this Aquaphor ointment body spray. I feel like that'd be so easy to like spray on his hands because that has been the most driest thing. <laughs> that sounded so rude, but his hands have been so dry. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I didn't mean it in a bad way, but his hands have just been really dry recently. And then I got him some Aveeno lotion for his hands too. So I got him that. And then I got him this like football surprise thing. Like it has one of these players on it. He likes football. I don't know if this is any of his favorite players, but I thought it'd be fun to open. And then I got some chocolate for my parents and for my grandparents. Some more chocolate and then some more chocolate. And I decided that I'm not going to go to Play-Doh's closet. Just don't feel like dealing with that after all of that shopping. So we're just gonna head home and then I definitely wanna get started on cleaning my room because that's like what I really wanted to do most today. So I'm back home and the next thing I'm gonna do is clean my room. It's honestly not at its worst, but it's still pretty messy. I have like stuff all over my vanity and this dresser. I didn't make my bed today clearly, but I need to wash the sheets anyways and just like wipe down all the surfaces and vacuum and just do all that stuff. I think I'm gonna do that before I take a shower because I already know when I start deep cleaning, I start sweating. Also, I really want to make my room all nice because Andrew got me some flowers and I really need to arrange it. He got me some flowers and chocolate the other day to ask me to be his valentine. So, I haven't been able to properly enjoy these flowers because my room's a mess. So I'm gonna get to cleaning, then I can like arrange the flowers and have a nice refreshed room. <laughs> I'm working on this section over here. The problem is I've cleaned like all the surfaces and everything, but I feel like all these drawers are so buttered that like this doesn't even feel clean to me. And there's like so much random stuff in between here and in that corner over there. So I think I'm gonna go through these drawers and kind of organize them because literally they're packed and all disorganized. stuff in these drawers like I don't even know what to do with them like why do I literally have my first flip phone in here this is where I'm at right now my comforter is still in the wash and I cleaned down all the surfaces I ended up doing some decluttering in these drawers and got a lot of trash out and then over here I need to bring this in the basement I don't know what I'm gonna do with these three things like I have no space for it in this bin there's a bunch of books and the other bin I have some like 
electronic stuff and then I don't even know what is in this purse on top. Just like a bunch of random things. And then this is my donation pile, my trash pile, and my recycling. So that's how it's looking in here. Also, it's really dark, so I need to turn on my light. I think I need to get like white light bulbs because it makes it so yellow in here. But my back is starting to hurt bad, so I think I'm gonna take a little break from cleaning and decluttering and arrange my flowers. Look how pretty. arranging the flowers they look so pretty i think i might have cut them a little too short but i think they still look really pretty i don't think i can keep this over here though because my cats will probably try to eat them so i'll probably have to move it over here they look so cute i love adding flowers to my room but i think the last thing i'm going to do is try and figure out where to put all this stuff i have to move some stuff to the basement i have to move some stuff into my closet i want to get all this stuff out and then vacuum and then that's probably all the cleaning i'm gonna do in here It's a little bit later and I just got out of the shower. It took me like all day to clean my room, but it's all done. Let me show you guys how it looks. It was also hair washing day, so my hair needs to air dry. I'm like so over trying to make it look good when it's curly. So this is how it looks, super clean. My bed is all made. It's all nice and freshly washed. Andrew recently got me this heart pillow from Target. It's so cute. And then this teddy bear is from last Valentine's Day. I found it in my closet and... I just decided to put it on my bed because I don't know why it was in my closet. And then I have the flowers over here. I ended up moving my forever flower here. I do have some donation right here, but I'm probably going to take it to like Goodwill tomorrow. And this over here is a whole new set of blinds that I need to put up. Or someone needs to put it up for me because I actually don't know how to do that. Um, So that's just going to stay there for now. And then these blinds will go in my closet because... I broke this so long ago, so it just needs to be replaced. And then over here, me and my mom worked on my vanity a little bit. I don't know if you guys saw before, but this cart used to be like more outwards and then my vanity was more to the right. So I ended up shifting it over to the left a little bit so that it can like be in between my window and my vanity just so it's like not so cluttered looking and I could just easily pull it out when I need it. And then I added, it looks a little weird because it's not the right height, but I added a lamp and a little like desktop lamp because I didn't realize how dark my room was with just this one. So I just found one in my house and put it there and then put another one on my vanity. And it looks so much brighter in here. Like I didn't realize how dark my room was with only one lamp. I'm so glad that I cleaned my room. It feels so nice in here and now it feels like fresh and bright. And I also put in a wall plug in and it smells so good in here. Now I think I wanna do my nails. I haven't done gel X in a while and I think I wanna do some like red almond nails and hopefully they'll last till Valentine's Day. You guys know I love red nails. But I'm also still on my road because all my sweatpants are in the dryer right now. Nothing else sounds appealing until my sweatpants come out the dryer. I wanna do red, but I feel like I also wanna do French. Or like a nude pink. I'm just going to start off with doing the base of my nails. And then I will decide what color I want to do after. Alright guys, so I made the executive decision to go with the deep red color. This is how the nails came out. They look really good. I was going to do like a brighter red shade. But I feel like I've been doing that too much. And I kind of wanted something different. And it matches my PJs perfectly. Honestly, I'm getting really tired. It's getting pretty late. But I think tonight I want to spend... The rest of the night folding up all my laundry that i did today and also filling out some job applications um with the amount of job applications that i have filled out i am pretty much a professional so i'm pretty sure i could do that and multitask and also watch tv at the same time i have all the clothes i need to fold in that bag over there my super exciting and fun night has started I'm looking at jobs in my area. New grad life and the job search has honestly been such a humbling experience. Like, I always had this plan for myself that like, I would have an internship and they would like me so much that they would hire me right after graduation and I would have a job right after graduation. Unfortunately, things don't always go as planned, but it's all in God's timing. I'm trusting the process and I'm also enjoying post-grad life of 
just doing nothing. I wouldn't say do nothing because I am writing a bunch of cover letters and job applications take me hours. So I am doing things. To make myself feel better, I'm just gonna tell myself that at the moment I am temporarily a full-time YouTube video creator. This is my only job at the moment and we're gonna get through this together. You guys are what's gonna keep me sane. Another thing to think about if you're post-grad like me and still on the job search is that we literally have the rest of our lives to work and this might be our only opportunity to be i wouldn't say carefree but like this is like the only time that we can enjoy not working right now if that makes sense because once we get that first job we'll probably keep working until retirement that's why i also tell myself to feel better because even though i'm rushing to get a job i'm enjoying the free time that i have before then and i'm very grateful that i have the privilege to live back at home with my parents and they're giving me this opportunity to figure out my life but we're gonna get there ladies we are gonna get there I also really need to make a new vision board. I haven't made a new one at all, and a couple of things from my last vision board actually came true, and I definitely wanna make one for this year. Now that I'm home, I'll definitely have time to do that. Just apply to two jobs on LinkedIn because they have like the in easy ones, and I'm way too tired to draft up a cover letter right now. But if you're in school, you probably know what LinkedIn is. There's always like job opportunities on there. I haven't had much luck on there yet, but I'm still gonna keep Keep applying to like every opportunity that I see. I just folded a huge bag of my laundry. I'm definitely not putting it away right now because I'm too tired for that. One bag done and I'm still waiting for another load that's in the dryer, but that's tomorrow's problem. I just did my night routine. I took out my contacts, brushed my teeth, put on my Invisalign. Today really drained me and I'm ready to go to bed and get some sleep. Thank you guys for resetting with me. Let me know what videos you guys want to see from me this year. But yeah, it's literally 2 in the morning right now. So, good night and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next vlog.